The Riddler has put out even more riddles about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as we close in on leak season. I mean, it's going to leak any day now at this point. And we've got a five minute trailer drop silently overnight in Japan. So let's take a look at all of that. All right, so first things first, let's talk Riddler coup and keep you guys up to date on that. And then I'm going to jump into the five minute trailer, which showed a bunch of new screenshots and some really interesting stuff. So it'll be fun to kind of react to that. I actually haven't seen the whole thing. But I saw a bunch of screenshots already. So he says, choose one for the answer, Steel Hat or Fairy Hat. So speaking of the terrestrializing crystal hats that the Pokemon wear. And then he indicates uh, number two. And basically, the, the long and short of this is that the Steel Terra Hat is literally just an axe in your head. And we know that actually based on another post that the Riddler posted with a few different images indicating of what the Steel Terra type could be. So that's our kind of most recent thought on that is that, you know, we know we've got flowers, we've got bubbles, we've got candles. It seems as though you're going to have basically an axe in your head for your Steel Type Terra type. I know in a previous video we talked about the Steel Type uh, Terra and thinking that, you know, it's possible that uh, it was going to be kind of the nut and bolt on the Rookie D. That ended up being fake, which I did kind of put in the comment section. So that's what we're believing at this point is there's legitimately going to be like an axe sticking out of their head. The Riddler goes on to the say, which par body part do you think is the most attractive with Cabalion, Terrakion, and Virizion? So you've got like Cabalion's kind of like neck and kind of main you've got Terrakion's feet uh, and kind of chest and then you've got Virizion's head and the thought is maybe that these are tied to the evolutions of the starters but it's a little bit ambiguous so I'm just gonna kind of gloss over this because honestly I have no idea what he's talking about <laughs> I'm just gonna be real and the post has only been up for a few hours and it doesn't seem as though anyone else seems to have any sort of confirmation on what he's talking about but then he goes on to post Torkoal, Pelipper, Hippowdon, Obama Snow and then goes, guess the missing part with Pinkurchin and Indeedy. So there's two ways to look at this, right? You've got your weather, you've got your four different weathers here, sun, water, or sun, rain, sand, and, and, and hail. And then you've got the terrains. You've got Pinkurchin, you've got Indeedy, which gives you electric and psychic terrain. So we're missing grassy terrain, right? We're missing misty terrain. So there's two particular terrains that we're missing. The thought here is, are we talking about those two terrains? Like, do we get two Pokemon introduced in the Pokedex in Scarlet and Nevada that are going to replace those terrains? So we get a new Grassy Surge user and a new Misty Surge user. Is that what this riddle is hinting at? Or is it hinting at the fact that you're going to be able to... There's going to be an ability that sets both a terrain and a weather. Uh, there's a thought that maybe the legendaries, Karadin and Maradin, have something to do with terrains. Uh, that's been a thought for a while. Maybe they set terrains, but maybe they actually set terrains and weather, which would actually be... Pretty bonkers. Like, imagine setting up Electric Surge in rain and then being able to fire off 100% accurate thunders in rain in Electric Terrain. Like, that would be very, very cool. But I think what we're looking at here is that there's going to be two Pokemon in the Scarlet and Violet decks that get access to Grassy Surge and Mystic Terrain. That's what makes the most sense to me. So we'll see how all that plays out. So that would obviously replace Galarian Weezing and Rillaboom, essentially, in, in the context of the game. So in terms of gameplay, the Riddler had made some posts the other day. We know that there's three paths to take on the story. You've got kind of your gym challenge path. You've got like the Team Star kind of path. And then you've got the... Um, the path of the titans where you're going to be kind of tracking down those titans and doing some story stuff there uh the riddler goes on to say that you better balance the three stories simultaneously so don't just get all your gym badges and then decide oh you know what? i guess i'll deal with team star or do all the titans and then say oh i guess i'll do the gym badges and the logic behind that is there's no level scaling so like if you just do one and ignore the others then you're going to be so ahead on the others like it's going to be you're just going to one shot everything right if that makes sense, because they're not scaled to whatever your level is, which, again, this has been a point that I've brought up a lot. I'm not a big fan of this. I would have liked to see level scaling to adapt uh, an adaptive open world game. Uh, but you know what? It's one of those things where Pokemon take steps forward. Sometimes they take steps back. This is true open world now. Legends Arceus was a segmented open world. This is true open world now. Maybe the next game <laughs> will have open world with level scaling you know what i mean we know that there's going to be this mice family of pokemon which was actually leaked uh, or leaked or shown in another trailer uh he says suggestions for trainer who would use mice family better catch a lot of them to collect its forms it's random so it's got random forms maybe like spinda someone says how many forms he says well there's two forms the possibilities to get them are different but one is super rare and then someone said does that parental bond and they said no so uh, there was a misunderstanding about having parental bond. I think it was more that they're just like a family of mice or whatever. We know that there's multiple dog Pokemon in the game. We have Fido. We have Grievard now revealed. 
And then there's going to be a dark dog Pokemon line, which is apparently going to go from orange to gray in terms of color. And then the last thing is we know that there's going to be a Titan Pokemon that's actually based on a worm. And he says, exclusive riddle pink, say hi to your new Titan. And maybe it's a reference to like some sort of segmented worm and earthworm. Hard to really gather a ton from that, but um, I think it's probably in relation to the new Titan Pokemon. Now, before I dive into this five minute trailer, which is in Japanese only, we just kind of kind of kind of watch it and enjoy it. Philly Beats You is convinced that they showed a new Palmy evolution, saying that Palmy was so small when I saw it, that thing is an evolution for sure. This is a bigger Palmy. The internet is unsure about this. The thought is that it's probably still Palmy, but there are size differences in the game. And maybe this is just a mega big Palmy and it just looks a little bit bigger than kind of the original. But I will say from the leaked images that we have seen, the supposed Palmy evolution looks pretty similar to Palmy, which I guess is how evolutions work a lot of the time. All right, so here's the trailer. Let's dive in. Shout out to GameSpot for hosting it, but it is uh, an official trailer. So I'm not gonna know anything they're saying, but we're just gonna look at the visuals. Hello, Mareeps. Nice. I'm actually really excited. We're getting close. Little slow pokes, windmill looking good. I like the combies floating around. I, I, I do hope that there's a way to not wear a school uniform, but I don't think that'll be the case. I think that's where we're stuck. What was that, Pokemon? Am I dumb? What was that? What is this? I feel like, <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. Is that, it's not Igglybuff, is it? Maybe I'm just like really dumb right now. I, I can't really make out what that is. Jigglypuff, Igglybuff? I don't know what that is. I don't think it's a new Pokemon. I think it's an existing Pokemon and I'm just dumb right now. And I'm sure I'll read a lot of comments about how it's just Igglybuff or whatever, <clears throat> which is fine. My brain is not working this morning. It's been a hectic few days. I'm like preparing for the marathon for Scarlet and Violet, which by the way is the announcements coming soon. And I'm also launching Kickstarter with my card project, Illustrals, which I have booster boxes for now. Look at this. It's a holographic booster box. I, I'm still Team Fue Coco, by the way. Like, that thing is just adorable. And I'm definitely Team uh, Maraiden, the, the purple one. I always get their names mixed up. That's so good, dude. He looks so good. I love the swimming though on, on uh, Koraiden. Go, go, getting some love since Gen uh, 6, you know? Love to see a Greed and eating cake in the back. Sada just lounging, my least favorite person, Iono. I'm curious how this feature is going to play out, like the four player. I don't really see myself using it, but they've definitely highlighted a lot. That looks cool. I will say though, no matter what they do, I don't feel like um, the battles will feel as epic as they did in Sword and Shield. Like the stadiums in Sword and Shield is a really good idea. We got a Pokemon Gym. Brassius and his Smoliv getting shredded by Fue Coco. And then of course you got the Team Star pads. And I think her name's Mela, right? With her car Pokemon. Our boy Arvin, who knows what his secret is? He's got some sort of a secret. Oh my God. <laughs> and then Cloth, dude. I feel like Cloth is super doofy, I'm not gonna lie. Like very doofy. Like, I don't know. I don't know anybody who's like, yo, I need a Cloth on my team. And here's a bunch of Eevees, a bunch of Smallows, Wiglets. Lechonk. Lechonk. Got that big nose. Fido's. I'm not a big Fido guy. I like puppies though. See, Titan, that's my boy though. That's my boy right there. I'm definitely getting see That guy is beast mode, C Titan. I love that guy. The hop -hip on the ground is a very large hop -hip. Guys, we're gonna be playing this game very soon. Like, that's exciting. I feel like, like I said, I've been so busy right now because my life is just very crazy uh, with, you know, two kids and the kickstart and everything. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to be like really, really excited. I'm the kind of person where like, once it's in my hand, I'll be excited, you know what I mean? Um, but seeing this has me pretty pumped. Like, this is gonna be fun, man. Like, I have some great members of Sword and Shield and I feel like Scarlet and Violet's looking like it's gonna be very good. I still think the hats are dumb. 
<laughs> they don't look terrible, but I just feel like they could have done something different. They could have had like a really cool aura instead of the hats, but I mean they do, but they could have done even more. The raid dens look cool though. There's Weavile. Arcanine looks really good actually. And that looks like a, a grass scyther. Yeah, grass scyther. I think I'm gonna do a bug only playthrough, by the way, guys, as I always do. I think I'm doing bug only. Is that Azuril? Oh, you could take little pictures of them. They look adorable, though. Wow. That's cool. A little customization. We've heard from leaks that the customization is insane. Actually insane customization. By the way, I just noticed Shadows the stuff on the ground. <laughs> anyway. Taking selfies. Kamala, Skip Bloom, getting some love. Magnemite looks really clean. Grafai, I am all, like, Ferrigarav, I need on my team, by the way. Like, that's another bro that I need. I need me a Ferrigarav. And I'm a big sandwich guy. Like, here's the palmy shot, by the way, where Philly thinks that it's a new palmy. I love, I love, love, love um, sandwiches. I make wraps a lot, actually. I'm a, I'm a wrap guy. I, you could call me a wrap god. I make, every day I have like a buffalo chicken wrap or turkey, you know, ham, cheddar cheese. I'm a big cheddar guy, sharp cheddar. I put some uh, hot cherry peps on there, a little bit of onions, you know, a little lettuce, a little butter lettuce though. That dude is so good, man. Sarah Ledge is such an epic design. Legit one of the coolest Pokemon I think I've ever seen. That's the end of the trailer. So that was fun, I, that was fun. I got to just chat with you guys, watch some sweet Pokemon scenes. I don't know if we're getting news tomorrow or this week, but like we're probably gonna get starter middle evolutions at some point and we're only like two weeks away guys. So like it's gonna be soon. I think maybe this week or next week. So keep an eye out on the channel. I'll keep you guys posted if any new drops. Let me know your thoughts on all the riddles and everything. Obviously like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. And I got booster boxes, baby. Look at this. This is real, dude. This is, it's empty because I opened it. This one's not empty. Um, I'm excited about this. Kickstarter on November 15th. Thanks. Bye.